I'm so glad you've joined me for week two of the Worm Has to Turn four-part series and this week we're going to be talking about true worship. Now, those pesty pestilence don't like true worship because it's real easy for us to worship when everything's going well in our lives. So we crank up the worship uh, music in our car, we raise our hands in church and yay, it's all going well. But true worship is when the pesky pestilence, the canker worms, the locusts, the, the caterpillar, the nasty little pests that devastate, destroy and leave destruction in our lives. When we can worship through that, that is when you build a weapon against the enemy who's trying to strip you of everything, which is what the pestilence does. So... We are going to read in Joel again, which is my go-to verse. So it's Joel 1 uh, verses 4 and it says, We've been invaded. What the cutting locusts lo left, the swarming locusts consumed. And what the swarming locusts left, the creeping locusts consumed. And what the creeping locusts left, the stripping locusts finished off. And that well, I'm going to be reading this verse every week to get it into your spirit. But what I want to talk about this week is the true weapon of worship. And unfortunately, the enemy sends the pestilence to destroy your purpose, your destiny and your calling. And believe it or not, folks, you are actually in a war. And when we do worship, we are in a battle against the enemy. And there are many worms that have been sent by Satan to kill, steal and destroy everything uh, that shines a light and gives you hope and a future. And But we have weapons to fight for. And one of our weapons is worship. And it says in 2 Corinthians 10.4, it says the weapons of the war we're fighting are not of this world but are powered by God, I love that, powered by God and effective at tearing down the strongholds erected against his truth. So what happens when life sucks? We need to worship. That's what we do when the canker worm and the locusts have just left sticks of desolation. And this is where the battle gets dirty. This is where we need to stand our ground and unfortunately, I've seen far too many believers stand in church and wave plastic swords around, um, hoping to scare the devil off in submission. And the worms just look at each other and say, hmm, look who's come to fight, Sir Fisher Price and Worship Barbie. So we don't want any Worship Barbies and we really don't want any Fisher Price people waving their plastic swords about um, we need true worshippers and that is birthed through adversity and uh, we really need to stand our ground in this folks um, but it, when there's no zeal and when there's no passion in worship um, it's easy for the enemy to take back ground and for the pestilence to come in so I need to give you some advice, folks. We really need to put down our wobbly plastic swords in worship and we need to pick up the weapons of warfare, which is found in 2 Corinthians 10, 4, which I've read, the weapons of the war we're fighting, a power by God, and we need to start singing because your wobbly plastic sword ain't going to do zip because Satan's going to be chilling like a villain in when you're trying to worship and um unless you've got a bit of zeal and a bit of passion then um it's it's not going to uh, get rid of that canker worm pestilence so in when it says that we've been invaded then a battle's ready to fight and we need to to be true worshipers and that's not just singing in church. I'm, I'm doing it in that context of singing in church because that's where we do worship uh, or in the car or at home. 
Um, but true worship is where you praise God and pray to God and read your Bible and worship, put some worship music on um, through the tough times. And you are saying to God, I'm still going to worship you, even though the canker worms and the pestilence are trying to get in. They're trying to uh, destroy my purpose, my destiny and my calling. But you've got me, God, and you have given me weapons to fight with. And they're not wobbly swords either. These are like real, This is these are the swords. This is the real deal, folks. So, basically, the worms chomp, chomp, chomp at your life until there's nothing left. And But we have been given all authority to take down strongholds and to shut down satan's dodgy two-bit operation and be the true worship gangsters that we are and just to really put some zeal into our worship and uh, let that enemy know that he's in for a fight and he's in for a battle but we are conquerors praise the lord so your worship your sweet harmony towards heaven lets those little pesky worms know who you are and more importantly whose you are and once you get a hold of that you can worship through adversity through the tough times and i know in this season people are doing it tough and but i urge you to to get some praise and worship music on to lift your spirit and to say, you know, no matter what the enemy throws at me, I am going to choose. It's in the choice. I'm going to choose to worship today. I'm going to choose to just pray. I'm going to choose to read my Bible. I'm going to choose to sing, even though I know I'm being fired at um, by these canker worms and pestilence. And they're chomp, 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 chomping and uh but but we've got the two-edged sword because you know we've we've got this we've we've got um our bibles and we can read god's word we can say no no weapon formed against us will prosper and so if you start worshiping like like you you really mean it you know you really got some zeal about you and who cares what you look like i mean i for years i used to just I mean, I'm English, so we're not really known for hoo, 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 um, sort of kind of people. Um, there is a few of us about, but um, I've, I've learned over the years that worship is not a performance. And you know what? When we worship and we worry what everyone else around us is thinking and they think they're watching us, you know what? <laughs> Revelation, they're not. They are not watching us. They really are not thinking about what we're doing. Um, and I've learned over the years, the more I let go in my worship, the more I lift my hands and not worry what people are thinking or not thinking about me. Uh, once I, I focus in on God and, and not worry about the surroundings, that's when the freedom comes. That's when the freedom of of worshiping true worship comes and and that's where the canker worms the locusts the creepy crawly um caterpillars that have consumed and chomped and eaten away at your life is that's where you draw a line in the sand and you're like you know what i'm just going to raise my hands and i and, and i'm doing it tough at the moment but i'm just going to lift my hands and say, God, you're bigger. You're bigger than my circumstances. You're bigger than all these worms and locusts and, and canker worms. You're, you're bigger than the pestilence. And as I said last week, God is a restorer. And he is going to restore back what the locusts have eaten. And I can't um, express that enough because I've seen it in my own life where... Um, the enemy is coming and, 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 and he stripped me. He stripped me of things. Um, and, and through me just 
worshipping through me that's all I that like that song all I did was worship all I did was praise you Lord and he restored and all we have to do is put our swords in the air and go you know what I take a stand this is where the line is drawn canker worms locusts pestilence you are not coming near my door anymore you are not to um, consume and chomp and eat anything else in my life so that so learn to be a true worshiper and i can't sing i'm i'm honestly i will never probably join the worship team however i can lift my hands and i can praise him and people see that freedom people people see that freedom in you that you are just and and some people know what you're going through but but when you li- when you praise and worship through tough times that is a weapon against the enemy and it will stop him in his tracks and um you will see the fruit of that i'm sure because i have in my life and um i just want you to walk in that freedom and not worry what everyone else is thinking um because they're not they're not thinking about you they're thinking about their own pestilence their own canker worms their own locusts in their own life so you know maybe uh, that's when we need to turn and, and say look i'm going to pray for you i'm going to help you through your tough times and um and I'm sure God smiles on those moments when we lay ourselves aside and just focus on him. So that is my um, thought for this week. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope it made sense um, with me babbling on. Um, but um, yeah, I really am quite passionate in um not flicking my hair to the side i'm i'm more say i've had new bangs look they're called bangs i've had i've had new bangs and some (laughs) just getting in the way at the moment um anyway not talking about hair i'm talking about pestilence so i want you to get some praise worship and praise and worship music on uh crank it up girlfriend uh and um yeah enjoy enjoy the moment of freedom and watch those little worms and those canker worms and those pestilence crawl away so i will see you next week for part three of my four-part series so (laughs) take care and i'll see you soon